call it an unsuccessful withdrawal. A trio of crooks in Kelowna tried to make off with an entire ATM. But as CTV's Ken Volgat reports, surveillance video shows the heist was foiled by nothing more than bad planning. The older model two-tone gray van was supposed to carry away the loot. But first, the three culprits had to bash their way in. The mass crooks then attach a chain to their target, the automated teller machine. Uh, this hasn't been something that I've seen recently myself. Uh, I'm aware of incidents in the past. Maybe so, but it seems to be a bit of a trend because almost simultaneously some Calgary thieves were stealing a front-end loader to smash and grab an ATM there. Well, I know the power of front-end loaders, but uh, that's amazing that that would, somebody would actually do it. The Kelowna suspects did a lot of damage to the store and they managed to drag the machine out, but it was too heavy for them to heave into the back of the van. Customers at the pumps today are just amazed. It's unbelievable, yeah. It's unbelievable for <laughs> someone to go to that extent, yeah. Unable to secure the machine, the suspects then flee with it, dragging behind them, kicking up a shower of sparks until they abandon the caper about 50 meters down the road. It's great this time that the, they actually were unsuccessful and the ATM was successfully recovered. Thieves discovered just how unwieldy these machines can be at a Calgary casino last year. Watch as this one falls on a suspect and getting away with the machine is just part of the problem. These machines are extremely heavy and uh, very well secured. Uh, so had they escaped with it, um, chances are they would have had a great deal of difficulty actually gaining access to the machine. The police want you to have a good look at this video. They believe someone out there can help them identify the suspects and make an arrest. So Kent, as much as people might laugh at these suspects, police say the situation was pretty dangerous. Yes, this is one of the first thing the uh, things the police brought up when they were asked about this today. The public could have been hurt, the suspects could have been hurt, and then there's this. This is what's left of the ATM once it was once it was dragged back to the store. The uh, police just left it on the side of the highway with a cone on it. It was up to the owner of the store to to bring it back. You can see the outer casing is all shattered, but the inner safe is intact, and the suspects are still at large. Tamara. All right, thank you, Kent.